Okay, I am done reconstituting the BPC-157. You can see that it is no longer a powder. It is now a liquid and it is just about full. Why can't I focus? The bottle is just about full. Ren, get off me. I don't know why I can't focus. Ren, get off. So the bottle is now full. So it went from a powder into a liquid solution and now I can inject it uh, into whatever injury I might have. Um, currently, I am dealing with some elbow pain, elbow pain that starts right around here at the insertion point, so where my forearm or possibly even my bicep uh, attaches to the bone right here. I guess you would call this tennis elbow or golf elbow. It's like elbow tendonitis. So it, it's the pain kind of begins, originates right here at this, at this insertion point where it's hard, where there's bone and then soft tissue, so right there where that ligament or tendon is, and then it radiates downward uh, towards my hand. Um, it's, a, it's a pain in the ass. This injury is just, it, it, I can't train that hard, but also just like reaching to pick up a cup out of my cup holder in my car. Like, and then li this lifting motion is like really painful. So it's annoying and I, I hate injuries. If, if you train, you probably hate injuries as well. So uh, I'm using BPC to hopefully alleviate this pain so I can get back to training hard and uh, not have to worry about it. So uh, like I said in the previous video, I use an older needle to do the reconstituting because there's a lot of back and forth stabbing the needle into uh, this, this vial and then into the, the peptide vial, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it kind of wears these needles out. Um, and you don't want to use an old needle necessarily, even though you're the only one that's going to be using it. They get dull and they hurt uh, when they're dull. You barely, I mean, when I say you don't feel it when you inject this stuff, if you have an insulin syringe, they're so small, the gauge is so small that you really, you don't feel it. I'm not just saying that. Um, so, when it comes to injecting uh, for an injury, how do you do it? The idea is you want to get the peptides, like we talked about in the previous video, peptides are like the tiny Legos and your muscle or tendons, connective tissue, are like the big Lego structure, right? So you want to get the peptides as close as possible to the source of the injury. Um, this elbow one, luckily, you know, the, that insertion point that where the muscle kind of turns into tendon and then turns and then connects to bone, it's very close to the skin. So we're going to be sub, doing subcutaneous injections, which just means right under the skin. Uh, I don't have, if I were doing my knee, I could use one hand to pinch the skin and then go in from the side like that, which I've done before uh, to fix my knee. Um, but I don't have that that ability since I'm doing it on my arm. So you're, I'm just gonna have to kind of go in at an angle. Um, you're not gonna wanna go straight in and hit like bone. Um, I don't think it would be a bad idea if you did happen to hit like tendon. I don't think that would be a problem. Um, you wanna get it as close to the tendon or the, to the joint as possible. Um, someone's knocking at my door. God damn it. All right, I'll finish this one in a second. All right, so my f fucking f dumbass friend Ryan showed up. Ah, how's up? <laughs> As the owner of the best burger joint in town, Grinders. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna finish this goddamn video. So um, you wanna inject subcutan subcutaneously. I'm doing the elbow, so I'm just gonna go right, right here into uh, the skin, sideways. Um, it's, it's very simple, you can go online and look at how to do subcutaneous injections. There's plenty of videos. Uh, depending on which joint you're, you're doing, it's gonna be different. So if I'm doing 15 units, the way that I've reconstituted this stuff, 15 units equals 250 micrograms of peptide. So I'm gonna first draw out to the 15 tick mark 
to get that air in there and I'm going to stick it in right in the center and I'm going to push that air into the vial again to try and maintain equal equalized pressure. I'm going to flip it upside down gently. These peptides, like I said, are extremely fragile. All right, I got some air in there. I'm going to try again. There we go, that bubble, there was a bubble in the way. So I'm gonna draw it to the 15 tick mark. Like I said, that's 250 micrograms. I'm gonna be doing this twice a day. Um, what I should have done before drawing that out is swabbed my elbow with just alcohol. <clears throat> Again, just get as close to the source of the pain as possible. I recommend letting it dry. I feel like it hurts more if you do it while it's wet. All right. That's it, doesn't even hurt. You might see a little, you can see that little bubble coming up. You're gonna to wanna to massage that in. After, just so that it gets to the tendon, it gets kind of into the area of the joint. Really, guys, it doesn't hurt at all. Like I, I know people say, oh, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. And it actually hurts, but this, it, it really, if you have new needles, it doesn't hurt. Uh, so that's it. All done. I'll do this for probably two weeks until the pain goes away and well, hopefully it goes away. Um, I won't be training hard at the time. I think that I, I got this injury from doing squats, low bar squats with a really, a really tight grip or possibly, um, overhead press with a really, a really narrow grip. So I won't be training overhead press heavy or like super, uh, like, um, tight grip squats or anything like that. I'm going to kind of just, I'll do high rep, lightweight stuff, maybe push-ups, maybe some, some easy pull-ups. I'm not going to put my wrist or my, my forearm into like a really weird angle for the next two weeks while I do this. And then, um, hopefully by then it'll clear up. Um, every injury that I've used this stuff for has worked like a charm. So I'll report back, but that's how, that's how you do it. If you guys have any questions, post them below. I can make some follow-up videos or answer your questions or whatever. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and found some value in this. Thanks for watching.